Copyright is one of those things that's at the bottom of each and every website, and I'm not sure if anyone actually cares about it. Click on copyright element and it gives you the copyright settings, or you can go as such. If you're at the front at the option sidebar, click on footer and then select copyright and click on the little arrow to the right. What do we have here? First, you can bring in text here. You can link current year and you can say WordPress theme by and then theme author. Let's leave this first part. I think that's useful. We can use that. But then let's change this and I will say websites for beginners. And it updates nicely there as I'm typing. And that's more or less all you need to do. You can have a look here at the horizontal alignment. You can put it in the middle to the right, you know, vertical alignment, not going to do anything. So I'll reset it. And then you can also choose the visibility. If you don't want it to appear on mobile, you deselect it and it will not appear on mobile. But why not? Leave it on for all your devices and we go back to desktop. You also have design options here. You can change the font independently. Currently, it is Palanquin. But let's say you want this one to be Palanquin Dark, a little bit different. For some strange reason, you woke up this morning and you decided it has to be Palanquin Dark. Then you can go here and it will only change it for the copyright area, not for the rest. Type in Palanquin and then you will see we have the option for Palanquin Dark. Select that and it changes to dark. None of the other fonts are affected. Change the font size. Click there on the pixels and let's make this 16. I'll just go up 116 and the line height 1.3, letter spacing, all of this is fine. And what about making all of this uppercase? Hmm, me like. That's just an option you have. For the font, you can simply click on the three dots and it will also give you this little screen in which you can make those changes. We will return to the header and the footer. But for now, we're going to start building our page. And that means we're going to go back into Bloxy. Before that, we need to save what we've done here. Click on Publish. To begin building our page, we need to go back into Brizzy. But currently we're in our theme, so let's exit here. And it loads again the front end for us. But remember, we've made these changes, but this one that is open, we haven't made any changes to. What you can do is simply click here on Reload, and it will reload Brizzy, and Brizzy will bring in those new changes that Bloxy have made. I think it's important to get this concept that what Brizzy does is independent from what Bloxy does and what Bloxy does is independent from Brizzy. For a final recap, when we talk about Bloxy and the theme, it will take care of your header, it will take care of your page title, and it will take care of your footer. Now we're going to say to Brizzy, let's build the page and Brizzy says, I will take care of all the content on your page, which is the page.